It's the holiday season, and everybody knows what that means. Lots of dead batteries. But don't throw them out. Recharge them. Here's how. A cordless drill can also be used as a generator. Connecting the battery leads inside to a voltmeter and simply turning it will show this. All we need now is a voltage regulator, and you'll find the perfect part inside a cheap outdoor solar-powered garden lamp. The battery holder inside has a circuit board attached, which charges the battery from the solar panel, and this is exactly what we need. The rest of the parts cost about $3 total, and include a C and D cell holder, some alligator clips, and a length of wire. Although I prefer to solder them, you can attach the alligator clips by stripping about a quarter inch of wire and using a pair of pliers to firmly clamp them into place. Now attach or solder the other end of the wires to the red and black leads on the circuit board. I made a hand crank from bending a metal bar that attaches to the drill just like a regular bit. Now the cordless drill will work just like a hand crank generator. Attach the alligator clips to the battery post and we're ready for testing. Let's start with a completely dead NICAD battery. With only 30 seconds of cranking, it's already holding a charge. But what about non-rechargeable batteries? Here's a dead AA alkaline battery. It only takes 10 cranks to bring this back to life. For the final test, I took two D-cell batteries and charged them for about 30 seconds each. Then put them inside my two-cell Maglite flashlight. They lasted well over a half an hour before needing another charge, which is a lot better than just throwing them out and buying new ones. Have fun, and thanks for watching.